what is good YouTube it's your boy the Lost Reacts and today I got another video for y'all today we got um that one time Michael Jordan watched his children get you know torched by a future NBA player now I don't know who this future NBA player is but um yeah we're, we're gonna check the video out, man, and see see what's going on here man but but but, but before we start, I can't talk right now but before we start the video if you haven't done so already man make sure you comment like and subscribe to the video Hit that post notification bell every time I drop a new video. Follow my Twitter, Instagram, take down links. Dumb links are down below. And I'm going to have this video link down below as well, man. If you want to go watch that for yourselves, man. So without further ado, let's get right to the video, man. And um, also, if you guys want to request, request other videos, man, just hit the comment section down below, man. And, and I'm going to get right back to y'all. All right, let's get to it now. Kevin Durant. Oh, oh no. Five, five star with a silky smooth jumper. Who? Second in the country by the name of Eric Gordon. Uh, Gordon. Whoa, Eric Gordon. Who was drafted to the NBA, dropped 41 points on Katie and the Thunder as a rookie, earned an NBA six man of the year award, won an NBA three point Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon, bro. Out of all. Who, who is that nice? In the NBA, Eric isn't great, but he's definitely not bad. Yeah. Yeah, he's not bad, but he was like he was a top player in high school for real. That's wild. In high school, Eric Gordon was untouched. Mr. Basketball of Indiana, first team All American, and as a senior, had multiple 50 point games and averaged 30 points per game on 46 percent shooting from. Oh, he was going off, huh? He was going off, off. That he was given the nickname Eric Gordon, resembling Michael Jordan with his freakish athleticism while wearing the number 23. Of course, this nickname caught was quite the same when Eric right. Gordon faced off against Michael Jordan's kids on national television. Oh, in front of Michael Jordan himself. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, man, we got an ad coming up, man, but damn, bro. You want to lower that? You know what I'm saying? Go to school, y'all. Get your education, bro. All right, we're going back to the video. But dang, Eric Gordon of all people, bro. I ain't, listen. I honestly thought, bro, it'll probably be some top NBA player for real. But Eric Michael Gordon. Sons, Jeffrey Jordan, a senior at the time, and Marcus Jordan, a sophomore, had to face off in a packed gym against the kid who was drawing comparisons to their father. Now, Jeff and Marcus Jordan were actually a good high school duo. Jeff was a top 30 player in the States, and Marcus was ranked top 50 in his class in right. the entire country. Mm -hmm. The school okay. he played for, Loyola Academy, was no slouch either. At the time, Loyola was ranked as the number one team in Illinois and ranked 22nd in the country. Oh, so that was nice. Going into okay. this game against Eric Gordon in North Central, Loyola Academy was absolutely walking every team they played. Held their first matchup of the season to just 33 points. Blowout, blowout, blowout. This team got within eight points of beating them, and then back to more blowouts. 20 wins, zero losses. The best team in the state of Illinois, and a 20-game winning streak to show for it. Their next opponent, North Central, and their superstar, Eric Gordon. The Jordan boys and their squad were actually the favorites in this matchup. But going up against Eric Gordon, this game was said to be one of the premier games of the entire season. Which is why it landed a spot on ESPN in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Loyola Academy gets out to a hot start, sparked by an alley oop from Marcus to Jeffrey. Loyola Academy up 15 to 7 in just five minutes. Okay. The game was living up to the hype, and Jordan was loving it. And then Eric Gordon showed up. <laughs> Live by MJ, Loyola in its first nationally televised game this season. Air Jordan to Eric Gordon, perhaps? Gordon wears number 23. Eric Gordon, bro? Bruh, yo. Before, before I unpause the video, man, how many points y'all think Eric Gordon had in this game, bro? He probably had, I think he had at least, 
between he had I'm probably say he at least had between 35 40 points yeah you know what I'm saying put your predictions down below in the comments bro I'm going with 35 to 40 He had 39.33 quarters? I, mean, I was close, but damn, 43? Yeah, they, Gordon, Gordon effed him up. That's all that happened, bro. That's wild. What y'all think? What y'all? What y'all think? Michael Jordan said to his sons after the game, man. Like, I I, I want to know what he said to them, bro. Eric finished his onslaught with a dunk that was special ordered for Michael Jordan in the crowd. But if that wasn't bad enough, and we got another ad coming up. Let's give just give it a sec. This is how. All right. How to search better? Yeah, we didn't come here for that. That's that's real pointless. But yeah, man, back to the video. But yeah, like I really want to know what Michael Jordan said to his sons after the game, bro. Like that would be, that would probably be some hilarious. Yeah, that basically that face, like, that face right there of a father. Who sees their sons get absolutely like destroyed on a court, bro? Yeah, that that basically just says it all, man. Like, <laughs> and then it says here, okay, so they both combined for eight points. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that's not <laughs> that's wild. Jersey lacing up and subbing into the game himself. Stop it. Get some help. After the game, Eric was asked what it was like to drop forty-three points in front of Michael Jordan. Man. That's wild. <laughs> in the 14 season since this game, Loyola Academy has lost 138 games. And of those 138 losses, there has been a handful of blowouts. They've lost some games by 20 plus points. Damn. And they've lost a few games by 25 points or more. But not one loss in 14 seasons comes even close to the beatdown North Central gave them. Keep in mind, this was their best team in that 14 year stretch. And Eric Gordon did this to them. And. So basically, what he's saying is, um, ever since ever since that that ass whooping they got from Eric Gordon, um, they really haven't been the same. Um, wow, in front of the goat, bro, that's wild. <laughs> And we got another ad. Let's see what this ad is talking about. No game. Yep, you know what I'm saying? Put, put your seatbelts on. You know what I'm saying? Be dry safe out there. There's another ad. All right, back to the video. Well, later that season, the Jordan Brand All-American team 
was announced, featuring the best high school players in the country. Players like Michael Beasley, Blake Griffin, Jeffrey Jordan. Who? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Sure that had nothing to do with the last name. Derek Rose. Of course I had every listen, bro. Of course I had everything to do with the last name, bro. Come on now. And listen, bro, like it isn't it was it's not a secret, bro. The like the the like the whatever is out the bag, bro. Like come on. And Eric Gordon. That same month, these all Americans played in the Jordan Classic. And take a wild guess at who led their team to a victory as the leading scorer. Eric Gordon. That's right. You can't make this stuff up. The kid who a couple months earlier spent 40 minutes torching MJ's kids for 43 points played in Michael's All-American Classic and led his team to a dub. MJ had to watch this kid get busy not once, <laughs> but twice in the same season. The first time against his own kids on ESPN, and the second in his very own game. So if this has taught us anything, it's that you can't mess with Michael Jordan and get away with it. But you can drop 43 on his kids on national television, still get invited to his All-American game, and live to tell the tale. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time. Man, all I really want to know is, bro, what did he say to his kids, bro? Like, that's all I want to know, bro. What did he say to his kids after the game, man? Like, on the drive home, like, when he was driving home, man, like, <laughs> like his, I know he was just like, bro, and his head was just like, bro, like, you let this dude torch y'all, bro, and then y'all don't do nothing. Like, y'all, I think they dropped, like, eight points together, bro. So that's crazy, bro. But tell me what y'all think about the video, man. Um, what y'all think about the video? Um, any, is there any, oh, fuck, I can't talk today. Is there any other videos y'all want me to react to, man? Just comment that down below, man. And, uh, yeah, man, so that's my cue. So I'm going to head out. So, yeah.